Good morning. I am off today from work and I thought I would clean my kitchen up a little bit because I want to make that uh, zucchini coffee cake for my grandkids that are coming tonight. Well, they'll be here late tonight. Um, late tonight and they're only going to be here for a couple days, but it would be nice to have some coffee cake here. And I made a batch of cookies for them. I made a batch of cookies. So they'll have some good cookies while they're here seeing Grandma. But, um, come here, Pat. So, yeah. so um, I would, I'm just going to do a vlog about how I hate to clean. I do. I, I used to clean all the time when my kids were little. And I don't know why I hate doing it because I love my house when it's clean and I struggle with cleaning and my mom comes over and helps me clean. Um, she comes over and helps me clean whenever I ask her to, like I pay her to, but I just really hate cleaning and I don't know why. Does anybody else struggle with this issue? I just, and I have this beautiful kitchen I have this beautiful kitchen with a beautiful dishwasher now, and I just, I struggle with it. But, I'm gonna clean it up because I love my kitchen, and I want it nice for when my grandkids come over because I want them to see what a nice house looks like. I want them to see how it should be. I don't want them to come and see a mess. That's never good. So, this is me cleaning, and please don't judge, I do work full time, and I also sell paparazzi jewelry on the side, as you know, probably most of you know. So, I'm a very busy person, but I'm also a little lazy probably, I should work harder. Um, so, I'm going to do some cleaning real quick. Let's just put away these dishes. These are these cool pie pans I got from Goodwill that I showed earlier on my thing. I washed them all up. I'm super excited. And my casserole dish. And I'm going to, I can't put them away because I have the camera in front of there, but that's okay. Put them away in a second. This is my good dish cupboard. I have a good dish cupboard and a yucky dish cupboard. And I just sent a bunch of dishes to my son, so I may rearrange that eventually because I don't have as many old dishes as I used to because I gave them to my son so that he can have them. He wanted the hobo. He wanted the hobo dishes that I've had for years. They actually came from my ex-husband's family. So I say, why not? He's entitled to them because I got this beautiful setup here anyway. I don't need them. It's just me. So I sent those to him and I think I missed the plate. So I'll have to send that to him later. But this is why I have a printer and a scale on my counter because I ship my jewelry out of my home and I also ship a lot of things to my adult children. I have a daughter that lives in Scotland as well and she gets shipments every once in a while, not too often because it's so expensive. But this is why I have this stuff on my counter but this kitchen is so beautiful and it's so big now. I have so much counter space that I like it. I just need to organize it better. And my sister who owns the house is probably mortified that I don't keep it better. So I'm going to do a better job because she took the time to get it remodeled and I love it, love it, love it. This is my new grill thing I bought at the, at the uh, Goodwill because the one I had didn't work so I had to get a new one. Because when Jessica comes, we're gonna um, grill out so I needed something that would work on my grill. So I'm almost done putting things away. 
so I can re I love my new dishwasher. My my little sister got that for me when she remodeled the kitchen, and I tell you what, I know I'm just one person, and I I can do dishes by my hand. I have done dishes by my hand. I prefer not to, and the reason is I'm kind of lazy. I'm not gonna lie, and. I think it gets them cleaner. I think they get more sanitized when you do them in the dishwasher. And I prefer to do them in the dishwasher. So this is why I do them this way. Now I know when you go online, on YouTube and such, you open yourself up to judgment. People can judge me all day long, I don't care because everybody lives their own life their own way. I know I have family members that are very clean and very good about keeping their house clean. And they're going to judge me, and I don't care. And then there's going to be strangers that will be the same way. But you know what? We all do our best, and that's all I can say about that. We all do our best. And we just keep doing our best. And, you know, as long as my house is not filthy, that's the thing. That's the thing I care about. And when my grandkids come over, we're going to have a good time. That's what I care about. I want my grandkids to be happy and healthy. And those are the things that I concern myself with. So, you know, to each his own. Look what my little sister gave me. Jar head. It helped me open a jar a couple days ago. I'm going to wash it, though. So, let's see. Let's throw some of these dishes in. Get them washed. Get this house cleaned up so I can make some zucchini bread or zucchini coffee cake. I'm kind of excited to try it. Honestly, I haven't made it before, so it should be pretty good. It should be good. We'll see. My little, my little cup, I got it Goodwill for 50 cents. I love these. These are great for soup at work. Got to wash those out so I can use them. I love this dish. My sister did good. That's all I can say about that. She did good. And even these dishes aren't even haven't been sitting out long, just a couple of nights. Because I actually have been doing good about keeping up on my dishes. I usually do okay with that. And then my floors I'm not so good at. That's what I asked my mom to help me with. Because my animals shed so much. I hate that. And so I I went and bought a de shutter for the dogs. And it helps, but it's not perfect. I don't know. I guess the best thing you can do to keep animals from shedding on your home is to not have them. And I'm not going to not have them. So I guess that's my choice. I chose to have animals. So there's going to be dog hair everywhere. But I went through this morning and vacuumed up my floors pretty good. But I still should sweep them and mop them again. It's almost like a... You have to do it daily to keep the dog hair out, and I hate that. But, I don't know. I still wouldn't live my life without a dog, so it's my choice. And I'm happy with that choice. I guess I could get a non-shedding dog, but I'm not trading the ones I got now, so. I thought a little chihuahua wouldn't shed much. Boy, was I wrong. They, she's like a husky. She sheds worse than a husky. How funny is that? I never thought in a million years that she would shed so much. But she does. Crazy. Crazy business. That little thing. But she's a keeper, so it's okay. It's all right. I need to clean out my coffee 
Do you guys use, if you guys have a Keurig, I know they have recyclable ones now, but I highly recommend, that's my cat over there, getting these and using regular coffee or whatever kind of coffee you like because you can reuse them and it saves on the environment. I'm a huge, huge person on the environment. I'm not perfect by any means, but I'm washing these now because my son-in-law, if he's coming, he likes them clean, but I like them clean too, so that's, I'm just giving him a hard time. Um, you reuse them, I put Folgers in them, or I like all these coffee too, so whatever. But um, they save on the environment. You're not throwing away plastic, and you know how much plastic we have in our oceans? Don't even get me started. I'm gonna throw these away here. Throw away the grounds. But, um, it's really important to think about our environment when we use products, I think. And I think these, re I love my Keurig machine. And I think this is one of the best ways to think about our environment. And I remember, I remember telling somebody at work about it, at my, an old job, not the one I have now. You know, you should think about using reusable because they're really not a hassle or anything to use, I don't feel like. Um, I said something to her because she uses, she uses, she used the throwaway ones. And back then they didn't even have, um, they didn't even have the recyclable ones. And I said, you should really think about using the reusable ones because they're so much better on the environment. And she says, oh, I don't want to hassle with that. That's just too much of a hassle. And I just thought, well, that's kind of selfish. I mean, I know I'm being judgmental when I say that, but I just feel like we should at least think about it. I mean, I'm not saying do everything perfect, but at least you could do that. I don't know. I don't know. That's just my take on it. I don't know. There's probably a lot more things I can do too. So, if only we were all perfect, I guess. There's probably a lot of things I, I, if I knew I could do better, I would. So, I don't know. That's just my little two cents on that. But feel free to comment on this YouTube live, like, invite, subscribe to it if you like this. I'm gonna have lots of other things on here. I'm gonna have cooking. I'm gonna have my animals. I'm gonna have hiking. I'm gonna have eating healthy. I'm gonna have, this is a cleaning tip. I didn't know this, but my mom, I used to always like put Clorox and things like that in my sink to clean it. And my mom told me that if you put Dawn in here, it takes the grease out and it actually cleans your sink really good. And she's right. So I've been using that ever since. She told me that and I just really like it. So I've been using Dawn to clean out my sink. Who knew? You know, you don't have to use that powdery, yucky stuff and get it all over. I always get out my clothes because it has bleach on it and it ruins my clothes. Very irritating. This is kind of nice. I like it. So I just wash out my sink. Let's see if you can see it here. Uh oh, my hands are all wet. Let's see here. There we go. Kind of see it there. I just wash it out with this Dawn. And it keeps it nice and clean. I like, I hate it when my sinks are dirty. I really, I really hate that. That's one thing when I am being lazy, I don't like. Don't like that at all. So I try to do a good job. And it'll be nice for my grandkids when they come over when the house is nice and clean for them so they don't have to worry about 
looking at anything yucky or dirty. I look forward to seeing them. I always do. You know. That always makes it nice. But yeah, it's amazing how it's done this. And it even, it just cleans out the, and by the way, Michelle, I love this sink. Love it. I love the bigger here and the smaller on the other side. It's just perfect. I love it, love it. And just rinse it off and it comes out. I spray it like this if I want to. In my windowsill. <laughs> this my cat gets up in this windowsill because he and most people would be grossed out by that, I know. But he is an indoor cat. I won't let him outside because cats don't live as long if you let him outside. He's escaped a few times, but I don't let him outside. And that because of that, I do let him get up in this window. And it's also very hard to keep them out if you know anything about cats. But I do wipe things, I do try to wipe things down as far as counters and stuff because of that. But, what was the point of my thing? So I have cat grass out here so he can chew on this grass. So it's like he's outside. And um, you'll see the cat because he's always in my videos. Whether I want him to be there or not, he'll be in my videos. So I found this, I found this cast iron skillet for mom. I would have kept it, except for I knew mom wanted one. I got it for $3 at Goodwill. And mom's like, ooh, how much do I owe you for it? And I'm like, <laughs> Nothing, it was $3. So I'm gonna clean it with this oil. You just put a little oil on it. And then you take a, you take a um, Aldi special. I love Aldi's. Let me straighten this up again. Well, I guess it's okay. Then you take a paper towel and you wipe it around. I should have showed the before and then basically it's like brand new isn't that gorgeous three dollars for this you know these are not cheap these cast iron skillets and I have a friend Paula Barton that sells different things on Facebook I have a lot of friends that sell stuff on Facebook and um, she sold, sells um, a hand sleeve that goes over the arm of this so that way you can pick this up and put it in your stove and it won't burn you if you've had it on the thing on the uh stove stove top so i ordered one for mom now i'm gonna go looking at goodwill to see if i can find one for me because i want one but for now i got one for mom so she has one at least but I'm excited. I can't wait to give it to her. I think she'll like it. I keep forgetting to give it to her too. See, cat. This is Harley. He's in my videos. He's a very naughty kitty. He attacked me this morning. I'm only allowed to pet him so many pets before he attacks me. He's quite a character. The reason why I put his food up there is so that the dogs um, allow him to eat, otherwise the dogs will eat his food before he finishes. And as you can tell, he's starving to death. No, that's that's me being funny. He's not at all starving to death. He's a little chunky. But um, this way, he can at least get his food. There, I got the, oh. Why is it whenever you go put something in the dishwasher, you forget stuff? Hold on. 
<laughs> I do it every time. Every time. Ugh, this one's hard to open. Eh, there we go. Every time I go to start my dishwasher, I forget something. I forget something every time. I might as well fill it as full as I can to save on water. <laughs> there we go. There. That looks good. There. Now, when I get done washing that load, I will come in and I will make some zucchini coffee cake. And I will film it. And you guys can watch if you would like. Thanks for joining. Bye.